Hi, we're back here with Mark Perry, Director of Product Planning for the Nissan LEAF. Mark, quick question. Mm -hmm. Myth or no myth, uh -oh. the Nissan LEAF, uh, as it gains traction, will crash the electric infrastructure of the nation. Totally busted myth. First off, there's enough electricity generated in the United States. I mean, the Department of Energy ran these numbers, so it's not Nissan, it's the Department of Energy. If you took the 250 million cars and trucks that are on the road today and turned them over to 100% electric power, almost 75% of those cars and trucks, you could do that. No more power plants, no more electricity generation. We've got plenty of energy. Another little known fact, it takes about five kilowatts to produce a gallon of gasoline. That five kilowatts moves the Nissan LEAF almost 20 miles. Myth or no myth, the cost to charge a Nissan LEAF is mm -hmm. prohibitively expensive. Total myth, and, and it takes a little bit of explanation, but electricity, the rates vary by time of day. So yes, there could be four o'clock in the afternoon, 100 degrees, and the, the, we're using like air conditioning and the grid is being stressed a little bit, that's the most expensive time to purchase electricity. Flip side of that is overnight, when you're actually charging your Nissan LEAF, it could be three to six cents a kilowatt hour in some parts of the country, so very, very inexpensive. And people worry about DC fast charge and they think that that electricity somehow is more expensive. It's just an electron. The electrons basically cost the same, so it's a matter of what time of day. Time of day makes more really impact on pricing than speed. Myth or no myth, if everybody converted to EVs tomorrow, would the cost of electricity be more expensive? Good question. Now, over the last couple of years, I've become a little bit of a Frankenstein to understand the utility industry. I've learned a little bit about their generating and their pricing structure. Um, think of a sine wave. So peak, uh, the top of the sine wave, is when they have the highest demand. That's that 4 o'clock in the afternoon when it's 100 degrees out. That's when it costs the most. They have to build power plants to fill and be ready for that peak. Now, that typically happens with a utility less than 14 days a year. So they have to build all those power plants, all that infrastructure for that one time that they need it. Flip side is the trough, the bottom part of the curve. That's overnight. They've got all that generating capacity just sitting there unused, just wasted energy, wasted resources, and you can't really save it. That's when you charge electric vehicles. So they love the fact, utility companies love the fact that electric vehicles charge overnight because that's filling that trough and most of their business models, they get paid on their total kind of generation capacity. So they've, bought, they've built all this stuff, they're not making any money on it. You, you sell more electric vehicles and sell more energy down here, the entire equation gets better for them, which could mean lower rates for us as consumers. Myth or no myth, we're making progress on a public charging infrastructure outside the home. That question I'm happy to answer is true. We are making rapid strides in public infrastructure. But remember, your primary source of charging is gonna be your garage. So you get home, plug in, just like your cell phone, wake up, next morning you're fully charged. But if you needed public infrastructure, at last count, 15,000 public charging stations will be in the ground by this time next year. And about 550, 580 of those will be those DC fast chargers we talked about that charge the car up in less than 30 minutes. So public infrastructure is coming and it's coming fast. Well, Mark, it's not a myth that we've had a good time having you on the show. Appreciate everybody's questions. Keep them coming and we'll be back to you soon with some more answers to your Facebook questions. Thanks. Thank you.